Lines by Nathan Block and Joy Parsons. Definition. A line is a group of points on a straight path that extends to infinity. Equations of lines. X is always raised to the first or zeroth degree in, in a linear equation. Like the examples here where X is raised to the first degree, X is raised to the zeroth degree because we don't see it because it's acting as one, because it's raised to the zero degree. And here we have X to the first degree again. The slope of a line is the rate at which the line cha changes. It is represented by M. M can be found a variety of different ways. You can find it by taking two points and doing y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. It's also found by calculating the rise divided by the run over an interval of space. And you can find it with delta y over delta x, which represents change in y over change in x. Slope can be zero, positive, negative, undefined, parallel, or perpendicular to one another. So, here are some pictures. Slope is equal to zero on horizontal lines. Slope is negative when the y increases while the x decreases. Two lines are parallel if their slope is the same. Slope is positive if y increases as x increases. Slope is undefined on vertical lines because you can't divide by zero, which is what a vertical line does in the equation for slope. And two slopes are perpendicular if their intersection forms a 90 degree angle or a right angle as seen here. Equations of lines can take on several different forms. Slope-intercept form, one of the more common forms, is, is listed as y equals mx plus b, where m is equal to the slope and b is equal to the y-intercept of the line. Point-slope form is another way to express linear equations. It is listed as y1 minus y1 equals m, open parentheses, x minus x1, close parentheses, where x1 and y1 are two, are x coordinates and y coordinates of one point on the on the graph that involves them. and m is equal to the slope. Horizontal line form is when you set y equal to any arbitrary number, as seen here, and it's only shown like this because x is equal to zero, so we get to eliminate it from the equation. Vertical line form is the, the counterpart to horizontal line form, where you show x is equal to any real number. Vertical lines have no slope, or is non-defined slope.